this is Vinit Baberon from New Business in Style and I actually wanted to do this video because I just come back from my brunch, my Sunday brunch, uh, Viva's brunch, which is in Miami, which happened the last Sunday of every month. And uh, we, once again, we were a very interesting group of people. And so you get a chance to introduce yourself, uh, what you do, what's your business, what do you need, what kind of referrals you need, or what resources you need. And the purpose is really to help each other. And when we finish the brunch, there's a private group on, on Facebook and we get a chance to continue to follow up because that's what I teach to people on how to follow up to make sure that at some point you will convert your contact into paying clients. Um, but the reason why I wanted to do this video is because we had an interesting conversation about how we use Facebook. And that's actually a question that I get a lot uh, from people. Uh, you know, they say, do you spend an hour on Facebook? Do you spend two hours on Facebook? You seem to be very active on Facebook. What do you do and how do you use it? Personally, the way that I use it, when it comes to networking, I use it for different things, but here's a tip. When you go to an event, when you know you go to an event and people sign up online, they sign up on LinkedIn, they sign up on Facebook, you, the good thing is now you have the opportunity to see in advance who is coming to the event. So you see the pictures, you go to the profile, you have the link to the website, you know more about them, you see what they put on the wall. So you already learn things about people before you met them. The great way to uh, network correctly and effectively is actually to send a message or invite them. If they're on Facebook, invite them on Facebook and say, well, check, uh, I just noticed that you will be at this event. So I, will, I just signed up also, so I wanted to say hello before we met in person. So that way you already have one connection with the person, which means that during the events when you meet them, you already see each other. And it was funny today to see the people say, oh, I know you, I know you, we connected on Facebook. So you have the feeling that you already know the people. So that's already one connection. So you connect with them online, so which means before you met them in person, you already learn a few things about them and about the business. So that will be much easier to have an interesting conversation with them, but you know, to learn more about the business. Then you meet them at the event. And what you do after the event, of course, Networking is about follow-up. If you don't follow up, nothing will never happen. You can go to new networking events every day and give a hundred of business cards a week. If you don't do anything after that, nothing will never happen. So when you come back after the event, what you do, you just send them another messages. And I notice personally that very often if you send a message through Facebook or LinkedIn, people will see it. It doesn't go to the spam. So you have more chances for them to see the messages than if you send an email the next day. So one of the ways you use Facebook is really to connect with people when it's related to networking is to connect with them before. So that's one connection. You meet them at the event, you follow up after the event. So which means there's already some interaction. They already know about you and your business. And of course, in the message, when you send the message um, after the event, you tell them a little bit more about you, what you do, but never forget to ask them about them again because it's not about you, it's networking, it's about them. So you don't try to sell them anything. You're not in the selling process right now. We are developing the relationship. You went to the networking, you do the relationship. You will sell them later. Right now, it's not about selling. It's about trying to help each other. And then make sure that you have a system for them. You know, you inform them, of course, about your website. If you have a newsletter, if you offer a free ebook or a free CD or something, to invite them to join your newsletter. Because when there will be in your newsletter, first of all, you know that it's really your target market because if they took the time to put their name and the email address, means they have a real interest in your business. And then when you, you have them and you autorespond and you send messages once a week, uh, twice a month or once a month, that's where the selling part start. But it's very important to combine online and offline networking. So invite them before. Talk to them after, make sure you, sure you follow up, and then according to whatever conversation you had with them, you continue the conversation online. And then if you know that, for example, uh, there's a woman uh, in cosmetics, so if I have to happen to go to uh, networking with related to fashion, for example, I will send her a message on Facebook and say, hey, look, I'm going to this event, so is it... You know, I know it's related to your business, is, is there any interest with you? So that way you have an opportunity to connect again with people, to invite them again to another event. It's not your events, they won't become your clients, but you will get more relationship with them. You will be connected a little more, so the next time you meet them, you learn 
learn more about them, they learn more about you, and at some point they will like you, they will trust you, and after numbers of connection, you will be able to uh, send them referrals, or maybe they will become a client. You know, statistics show that you need to meet or see people, uh, no, people need to see uh, a message at least seven times before they notice it, so it takes even more time to just take action. So think about it on networking. You need to have at least seven interactions with people to meet them offline or online and happen different things seven times before something will happen, before they become a client, so before they uh, send your referrals. So that's one way to use Facebook or LinkedIn is really to connect the, net, the live networking events that you're doing to uh, the social media. That was one way to use it. There's numbers of other ways to uh, use uh, Facebook. And if you can actually check uh, my page, you be up at home on Facebook, I give a lot of information. And on my website, Your Business in Style, you will find a lot of articles on how to network more effectively, how to use social media, how to do marketing, and how to put all of these pieces, these puzzles together. Because the biggest problem with people, they do a little bit of networking, a little bit of marketing, a little bit of this and of that, but they don't know how to put all the pieces together. So go to the website, yourbusinessinstyle.com, and you will find numbers of other networking tips. And I hope to see if you're in the area. Look at that, Miami, it's really nice. If you're in the area, definitely I invite you to join us for the next brunch. And remember, it's always on the last Sunday of the month. I hope to see you there.